So, how does a five million pound bridge skeleton cross the road? So, how does a five million pound bridge skeleton cross the road? The answer to that question is very slowly and with the use of state-of-the-art technology. Hi, I'm Dave Harris, Senior Construction Contracts Engineer for the Michigan Department of Transportation. The key to the bridge move is the use of self-propelled modular transporters known as SPMTs. This technology uses a very sophisticated flatbed trailer supported by multiple independently controlled axles. These axles can self-adjust to accommodate elevation or terrain changes to keep the bridge skeleton absolutely level, which is critically important to avoid damaging it as it moves. Four SPMTs, all driven by a single operator using a digital control panel, will move the bridge. The SPMTs travel at a slow walking speed, making it easy for the operator and the other staff working as lookouts to keep up with it as it moves. For the safety of the public and those working on the project, MDOT plans to close the I-94 freeway for seven days while all of the work related to the bridge move takes place. First, the bridge skeleton will be moved from the bridge staging area at Wayne State University to an area just behind the south bridge abutment. The north end of the bridge will be launched over the top of the abutment just far enough so that another set of SPMTs located down on I-94 can lift the leading end of the span and carry it across the freeway to land on the north abutment. At that point, the bridge skeleton will be jacked down onto the abutments. After thorough inspections confirmed that no damage was caused during the bridge move, the next step is installing the reinforcing steel and the concrete bridge deck. The bridge move will take place this summer. For information about the Second Avenue Bridge, the bridge move, and the I-94 modernization project, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Visit the project website at i94detroit.org and stay tuned to local media.